Hey, DGS Northfield students, Mr. Jaquette here. Welcome to our fifth year, 2023-2024. We are excited to have a great year at DGS Northfield. Uh, I wanna make sure you get the information that you need so that we can have um, a really great school year. So uh, first thing to know, we'll talk about arrival. A lot of students are gonna ride their bikes to school. That's great several places to lock up your bike. Please make sure you are locking your bike. Um, starting on day two or three, we are gonna be bringing unlocked bikes into the school just so that we can find out who that is um, because we did have last year some unlocked bikes get stolen and we wanna make sure we are locking them up. Another thing when we're arriving to school, some students are gonna be coming from 57th Street on the north side of the school. We wanna make sure that you are, there isn't a crosswalk for a lot of the people that come across from the park. We'll have a cross guard that's out there. Please make sure that you're using uh, that cross guard to help. And if you are near a crosswalk, please make sure you use your crosswalk. We want you to get here safely. Um, another thing is just entrances. The sixth grade is going to be entering on the west side of the building. It's their entrance. It leads to a lot of their classes. Seventh and eighth grade, you're gonna be coming through that main door with the DGS Northfield GOAT logo on it. Uh, when you do come into school, you'll get into the habit of some routines. Um, the school doors are going to uh, open up at 8.43. Um, and then that bell rings at 8.50. If you are in your advisory class after 8.50, it is a tardy. We wanna make sure you're getting to school on time. Um, so uh, no tardies, uh, get here at 8.43, right when the doors open and then you can head to your class or head to your locker. And when you do head to your locker, if you brought a cell phone, put your cell phone in your locker. If you brought wireless headphones, leave those in your locker uh, and don't take those out until the end of the day. Students that have their uh, cell phones or their wireless headphones and their pockets or on them, um, we'll ask to take those and then they'll get them back at the end of the day. So please make sure that's not you. Put that in your locker. Hey goats, Miss Miller here. So happy to have you back. Uh, a few more details and rules I just wanted to share with you. Uh, first and foremost, uh, uniform and dress code. We are really proud that we're not a uniform school. We like that kids can express themselves by the way they dress, but please do know that we do have a few rules as it relates to dress code. Um, First and foremost, please just make sure that uh, your midriffs are covered. We don't allow crop tops. Uh, secondly, we want to make sure that all buttocks are covered, whether that be from not having your shorts be too short or that you're sagging your pants. We just wanna make sure that that part of our bodies are covered. Um, and then also we do not have, uh, we don't allow hoods because we like to see your face and make sure that you're engaged and with us while you're learning. So what that might mean for you is is that you might wanna keep an extra shirt in your locker or a hat in your locker in case um, you are checked on your dress code. We have shirts that we can give you. We have hats we can give you, but we know that students sometimes prefer to bring their own. So we are gonna be following up on dress code. So please uh, just help us by coming to school uh, with midriffs covered, buttocks covered and hoods off. Uh, next up, there's a very important way that you can get help in the first few days of school. We know that there's a lot of details and it can feel very stressful, but the DGS student page uh, has a lot of options for you to seek out help. So first and foremost, there's a locker help button. If you can't reach your locker or your locker isn't opening or you need help with the combination, please click the locker button on the student page and someone will come to help you. Uh, next, scheduling. We manage a lot of different student schedules, uh, 540 plus. Um, and so we know that there will be mistakes. If there's something that you're unsure of on your schedule, please click the schedule help button on the student page. Uh, and last but not least on the student page, please be aware that we know being at school um, can be really intense and it can feel a lot. If you need help from anyone, please click the some, I need to talk to someone uh, button and one of our SST members, our student support team members will come and check in with you to make sure that you're doing okay. Um, also, um, we have an A day, B day schedule system at our school. A days are Mondays and Wednesdays, B days are Tuesdays and Thursdays, and our Fridays uh, alternate between A and B days. So uh, the big shifts that happen on A days and B days are when you take your electives versus your Spanish class, or when you take your science versus social studies class. So just be aware of what day it is. Our first Friday this week is going to be an A day, so follow your A day 
uh, schedule. Um, also to know in the first week of school, we are not going to have our individualized learning time block, also known as our ILT. That will be a time where you go back to your advisory to get some important details about the day and also uh, get to know the people in your advisory a little bit more. Thanks, Ms. Miller. Yes, and students don't have ILT on the first week of school, on that Wednesday and Thursday. On Wednesday, the eighth grade is actually gonna stay in the cafeteria for a meeting that I'll be hosting, just to talk about the school year, some school rules, some expectations, some things to look forward to. And sixth and seventh grade, on Thursday, you're gonna have that meeting with me in the cafeteria during your ILT time. So no ILT on week one, you'll see that on your schedule. Um, and instead what you'll have is eighth grade, will have a meeting in the cafeteria on Wednesday and they'll go to their advisory on Thursday. And sixth and seventh grade will go to advisory during their IL team on Wednesday and they'll have a meeting with me in the cafeteria on Thursday. I wanna talk about uh, some transitions. Uh, when you have lunch on the schedule, uh, sixth grade and eighth grade, you will be heading out to recess when, you, uh, when it's your time for lunch. You start with recess. Uh, you can sixth grade, you can go out the sixth grade door or even that main door. Um, and then seventh uh, or eighth grade, excuse me, you'll be heading out that main door that is our entrance door with the logo. Uh, seventh grade, you start your lunchtime in the cafeteria. So you'll walk down the library stairs and you'll head to the cafeteria for your lunch. Um, when we are transitioning, one thing to note is we have some downstairs classes um, like social studies and uh, Miss Asa Cabbage's class and uh, Miss Katie's class. Um, and we also have the gym and the cafeteria. We don't walk through the Inspire hallways. It's just not a good situation for us to be going through the other school. So sometimes that does mean you have to walk around the library stairs and then back down the cloud room stairs. Uh, so just note that we do not walk through Inspire. Uh, if you're on the first floor and you have to go to the bathroom, we don't use the Inspire bathrooms. We go upstairs and use our own water fountains and our own bathrooms. It just makes things a little bit easier. Um, when we are transitioning, the first week you might be learning your schedule. So if you're a minute or two late for class, that's fine. You can always ask for help. Um, but the bell is three minutes uh, and you should be able to get from one class to the other class. So uh, please make sure you are hustling, not getting those tardies. Um, Bathrooms, um, try to save going to the bathroom um, if you can during your lunch time, um, if you also can maybe uh, during a transition time uh, and limit the number of times you go during class. Uh, we will be checking in with teachers to see are there students that are going in like a lot of their classes and just follow up on that. Um, so um, when you go to the bathroom, also make sure you are taking a pass that your teacher gave you. Uh, last things I wanna talk about are some of our emergency um, drills, like fire drills and lockdown drills. Uh, when we have a fire drill, um, very loud announcement goes off on the loudspeaker. It immediately becomes a level zero, meaning that we do not talk. Um, and your teacher will tell you where to go. If you are a first floor class, if you are a seventh or eighth grade science class or the art room, you will head to the north field and your teachers will direct you there. All the other classes are gonna be going out onto the playground to the main field. Everyone who's walking while you're in the building, it's a level zero, meaning we're not talking. You'll follow your teacher all the way to line you up. They'll take attendance and they'll hold up a uh, green or red card, depending on if any students are missing. Uh, and then on the way back, you can talk at a level one, but we're not running around, we're not playing, we're, you know, we're not acting silly. Um, we're just getting right back to class so we can get back to that instructional time. For a lockdown, an announcement will go on over the loudspeaker. It'll say lights, locks, out of sight. It'll be your teacher's job to turn off the light. It'll be your teacher's job to lock the door. It'll be everyone's job to get out of sight so that you're not visible from um, the hallway uh, doors. Uh, and so that'll happen. Both those drills will happen in August. So just uh, give you some information to be prepared for that. Uh, really looking forward to an amazing school year. Uh, hopefully this information just helps us uh, get on the right foot.